Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And at the time of this shooting this video, right, we have over 500 videos on this YouTube channel. If you are a sports coach or a trainer and you're looking to either start your business or grow your business, this channel is for you. Been doing this for a long time. And if you have not reached out to me, shoot me a text. It's on the screen. It says, Text me to chat, 210-960-5771. Now in today's video, I'm gonna cut straight into it. I'm gonna show you three really important skills to learn for your business in 2022. So this coming year, if you learn these three things, you're gonna see a drastic improvement even if you don't add any more clients, right? Even if you don't add any more clients. and I'll show you kind of what that means later on in this video. So first is your, you learn how to become really persuasive in your marketing, all right? So top left here. So what that means to me is you understand what are the people that I'm serving, all right? What are they thinking? What do they want? What is the, their biggest fears? What are their biggest struggles? how can they connect with me with what I'm saying in an email or on a video? And the more persuasive that you are, right, the easier it is for them to get on a phone call with you. The easier it is for them to buy from you. The easier it is for them to give you referrals. If you lack persuasiveness, people don't believe you. If people don't believe you, then they don't trust you. Then they don't buy from you. It's like this with everything though. And it, it like, it's like this if you wanna choose what restaurant you wanna to go to, right? Sometimes you might have to persuade the other person. This is where we wanna go, and here's why. So persuasiveness comes down to sales. So ultimately, like if you wanna be better with sales and you wanna be better at persuading, you need to practice, you need to learn. Go read a bunch of books on being persuasive. Go watch a bunch of videos on YouTube. Like There are so many different ways you can learn how to be persuasive. A lot of it comes down to how you communicate, right? That's number one. Second is throughout the year in 2022, ask your clients about what else they want, right? I'll give you a very simple example. Earlier in this year, I sent out a message only to my clients, right? So only to my active members. And I asked them, hey, I'm thinking about adding this or this to my program. Is this something that you see value in? I sent it to all the parents. I got great response from people. Now, here's what happened. When they responded, I added that into my program because that's what they want. It's not what I want. It's what they want. They are the ones paying me, right? And so I'm going to give them something that they all want. And once I install that into my program, guess what happened to my program? It got better. And guess what? For any new client who's going to sign up for my program, it's more expensive now because my program improved and I'm adding something that what that's what my clients want. So ask your clients more throughout the year what they want and give them some options. Give them some things that you're thinking about upgrading or adding. They will tell you. But you got to you got to be in their ear. All right? You got to ask them throughout the year, all right? And this last one here all right, this comes down, uh, and I have a typo here, all right? Well, I'll just leave it, but it says create new offers to prospects. I also mean prospects and clients, and, and here's what I mean by that. When you consistently create new offers for clients, your business succeeds without adding more clients, right? Because what you're doing is you're getting your current clients to pay you more money during the year than they would if you did not ask them. Right. So, for example, all right, one of the, the I would say top slash best coaches that I've worked with over the past five years, what he does is every month he sends out an email just to his clients and he puts on an extra opportunity for them. It costs around 50 bucks. Right. He does that 12 times per year. Right. On average, and I've, we've, we've looked at this. On, and it's on paper, on average, his clients, each client spends right around three to $400 extra per year than they would if he didn't offer that. 
Now, here's the crazy thing, right? He has 100 clients, right? So that is that represents a lot of extra money that's within his business because he has this very simple offer that he gives just to his clients, right? Now, if we take that same sort of mindset and we go back to prospects who did not originally sign up for your program, then if we go to them with a new offer or a new idea, then you always have a way of selling something to prospects who haven't decided to join yet. And oftentimes what coaches do, they just leave their prospects dead on the street. They're like, ah, well, you didn't buy in the first place, so why would I come back and talk to you again? Right? Your prospects, obviously they had their hand up. They wanted to work with you. And maybe they didn't join because of price or because of commitment. Well, if you give them opportunities to work with you during the year and you go back to them over and over, right? That generates more income in your business. It's very simple, right? And by doing that once or twice a month, or maybe once or twice a week, you see massive difference in your business, right? And again, these are, these are concepts that I think are very old school. It's like going back to people who had their hand raised, giving them something that maybe they, maybe we didn't think of the first time we talked to them. Maybe we didn't have it set up the first time we talked to them, but Go, go to prospects, go to clients, give them more of what they want, right? And I think if you do these three things, I actually, I don't think, I know if you do these three things, your business is going to see a huge difference in 2021 or 2022. And guess what? A lot of what I'm talking about has nothing to do with adding clients. It's about servicing your current clients better, right? The more you communicate, the, the, the more cash you make. <laughs> That's just gonna be how, how it works in this business. So I hope that helps. If you are watching this and this is clicking for you and you're like, all right, I want more one-on-one help, great. Send me a text at 210-960-5771. If you've watched any of my videos for a certain amount of time, you know how I roll, all right? If you text me, I'll set up a time to chat with you, all right? That's how it works. If you just randomly call me during the middle of the day, I won't pick up my phone, all right? That number is linked to Google Voice and like I don't pick up that phone. So text me, that's how we can schedule a time to chat. And uh, again, plug these into your business, you'll see a massive difference. Catch you later.